Hello everyone, welcome to PUC Online Classroom. So today we are moving on to next activity, okay? Before I start the next activity, I'd like to wrap up a little bit about the lesson we have learned, uh, which is about conflict noun phases containing your range. So as you can see right here, so these uh, function as the subject, which is about complex noun phases. And inside that, there is a, a gerund, okay, right here, as you can see. And then this is a verb, and the rest is an object. And it's also a gerund phase, okay. And it's not really a complex grammar point, but it's just only the complex noun phase that we combine many things together, okay. It looks, uh, you know, sophisticated. But actually, it is not, all right? So now let's go to the next activity. Um, number six is about listening, challenges, and rewards. So you can listen to the auto that I attach, and you can get the answers later, all right? So now let's go to number seven, with power antonyms, which is the opposite, okay? So before we can make the, uh, or find the opposite words, we need to understand all those words, right? So let's begin with the word in the table right here in the box. We have compassionate. Compassionate is feeling, you know, sympathy for people who are suffering. For example, I allow him to go home on a compassionate grounds. Just an example. So just because of having or feeling or knowing some kind of bad story happened to someone and then you are compassionate about that, okay? Cynical is unwilling to believe that people have good uh, or honest, sincere reason for doing something. All right. So, for example, the public is cynical about election promises. Okay. Next one is dependent. Just you need to depend on the other. You cannot do anything by yourself. Rigid is unwilling to change. Uh, the ideas of behaviors, okay? You know that you cannot change. It is inflexible, you can say that. Um, timid is what? Not having courage or confidence, okay? Somebody asks you, okay, John, it is okay. And then you say, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't know. I cannot do it. I don't want to do it, okay? I'm so scared, okay? So that is timid. And imaginative is you cannot get some ideas all right you cannot find you cannot think about anything okay that is unimaginative so now let's go to adaptable is able to change right carriage brave and insensitive is not showing sympathy for other people's feeling okay so for example your friend is hurt and you don't care, all right? You don't want to share sadness with him or her, okay? That is insensitive. It's insensitive, I'm sorry. Number four, resourceful. Resourceful, just like good at finding ways of dealing with practical problems or maybe he or she is good at finding solutions, okay? Self-sufficient, it means that he or she can be uh, uh, independent. He or she can rely on him or herself, okay? And last one is upbeat is positive or making you feel good things will happen. So it's just like this one is uh, optimistic, all right? And um, and this one is pessimistic, okay, which is the opposite, okay? So now let's check the answer all together. We we'll try to find the uh, answer for that. The first one, adaptable. So you can say... The opposite of a double is rigid. Okay, so you can change. This one cannot change. Inflexible. Courageous. Courage. This one is timid. It's coward. Okay. In insensitive. Insensitive. You can say compassionate, sharing, sense, sympathy. Okay, with something or with with your friends. Resourceful. The opposite of that is unimaginative because you cannot think of but this one can think of ways okay self-sufficient is about independent and the opposite is dependent and the last one upbeat thinking about positive things and cynical thinking about negative things okay so 
I think that's it for this activity and next I will move on to uh, number nine okay so which is the last video for the lesson all right thank you so much everyone goodbye